Hey everyone, it's Miss Stefan here. For this week's lesson and this week's assignment, I want you to become an inventor. So we've seen a lot of great examples about great inventors in history and great inventors in the world today. We've even seen how kids can be inventors. So now it's gonna be your opportunity to become an inventor yourself. So this week we're gonna have the Kids Inventors Challenge and this is due 5 2020, that's next Wednesday. So you have a week to work on it. Anyone can be an inventor, even kids. This week, you are challenged to identify a problem or need in your life, community, or in the world and create an invention to solve it. So we've seen in a lot of the books we've read and the lessons we've looked at, inventors are always motivated and inspired to create new inventions and innovations when they see problems happening around them. So here's your mission. Step one, identify a problem in your life, community, or the world. You could pick anything that you see right now that's a problem going on, anything that's important to you or important for you to help others. Step two, create a prototype. And if you remember from our lessons, prototype is when you create a new invention and it's the first of its kind. It's the only one like it. And this could be in a drawing, a computer image, or an actual model. I know we're all in our houses right now, so it's hard to get out to buy actually materials to put things together, but that's also a great time for us to get more creative. You could use anything you have lying around your house to make a model, to make your prototype come to life, or you can do a drawing with labels to send to us. So you're gonna create a prototype of an invention to solve the problem. So here's where it has to connect. Your invention has to solve whatever problem it is that you identified. So here we just see an example of a drawing of a prototype. This person actually did a diagram first. And it's a diagram because they have the picture they drew, but they also have labels on it and explanations about what each part does. So this person saw a problem was that they can't get all of the Pringle chips out of the Pringle container without breaking them. So here's what they came up with. This really interesting metal scooper that fits in just right so that they're able to pull out more or all of the Pringles that they want without breaking them. And then here you see an example. This person actually created a new style of chair and they actually took the time to use cardboard or paper to cut out and create the prototype of their new chair. So you're gonna to have to have two pieces that you will need to submit. The first is gonna be a three paragraph essay. But this is awesome. This is gonna be your essay and your chance to explain your problem and explain in words what your invention can actually do. So let's go through the rubric. Paragraph one, state the problem. So you're actually gonna tell what the problem is. Explain how the problem affects you, your community, or the world. So whatever problem you selected, you're gonna have the opportunity to explain it here. Paragraph two, describe your invention and explain how your invention solves the problem. So this paragraph two is gonna directly connect to paragraph one. Here you're gonna explain how it helps to solve your problem. And you're going to explain and describe in words. You're going to have your picture and your model too, but here you actually get to describe in detail. Paragraph three, describe your process of creating your invention. So what was it like for you? How were you inspired? What problem did you come up with? And then how did you come up with the steps to create your unique prototype? End with a strong conclusion sentence about why your invention is the best invention to solve this problem. A lot of times when you create a prototype of a new invention, you could actually take it to different companies and people try to get them to buy into it and to actually pick up their idea to make it for them. So you never know where this can lead you. You must submit a drawing computer image or model of the prototype of your invention. If you wanna take a picture, if you actually make a model or a video of it, you could text that to me or your teachers. You could take a picture of the drawing, a computer image, or you could email it to me. So you could send it by phone, through text, by DM on Instagram, or through email. 
Here's the fun part. Inventions will be posted on social media and voted on by the world. The creator of the invention with the most votes for best invention will win an Amazon gift card or pizza dinner delivery, their choice. So get creative. These are gonna be put up without your name on it onto our class Instagram page and everybody, teachers, parents, and the community is gonna to get to vote and pick what they think is the most important invention. And finally, just to get your thought process going, I want you to think about the great inventors you have learned about and how they solved problems in their communities with their inventions. So we've learned about George Washington Carver. We saw the problem how, problems that he saw in the world and how he wanted to fix them. He saw problems that the sharecroppers in the South were experiencing great poverty and he wanted to help them as a scientist with better ways to farm. We saw Thomas Edison, he knew that there was electricity, but people back in his day had to still use candles and gas lamps to light their homes. So he came up with an invention to bring light into people's homes. And then we saw William Kamkwamba, who in his village, they didn't even have electricity and they were facing a drought. There was no water to grow plants. So he figured out how to use the wind to make energy. Okay, so these are all some great inventors, and now it's your turn to be the next one. I'll be sending this out via text message. So please, let me put my email actually right down here for everyone. You should have it, but just in case, jessica.stefan at k12.dc.gov. Let me blow that up for you. Okay, so if it's easier for you, you could go ahead and email me when you're all done with this. You could hand it at any day between tomorrow and Wednesday or give me a text and submit it that way. Happy learning and happy inventing.